there is a very common test also called as GRE. So yep. what is the basic difference between these? Yeah, there are certain colleges which accept both. Yeah. So, so, so the GRE and GMAT, the one way you can actually think about it. So uh, since this is majorly for Indian viewers, I'll actually compare with CAT, GMAT and GRE so that uh, you get a good idea of like what is changing between the different exams. So if you have taken CAT, you know that the quantitative section is fairly difficult. Okay. The VRC section is also difficult. The DILR is super tricky and uh, very, very difficult. So it's a, in general, it's a difficult exam, okay. which engineers tend to ace. You're talking about CAT, right? CAT. I'm let's, talking about uh, CAT. So let's talk about GMAT and GRE now. And then next, GMAT and CAT. So that'll be pretty much. Yeah, okay. So basically now, if you come to GMAT, the GMAT is still, it has the same, similar sections, but not the same sections. It has uh, quantitative section, we are uh, like RC plus critical reasoning section. So the verbal ability section, uh, verbal reasoning section, and then you have the data insight section. Now, essentially the skills tested over here are roughly similar to CAT. So your quantitative skills are tested. How well can you solve arithmetic questions, algebra questions is tested. How well you can solve uh, like read, reading comprehension or critical reasoning that is tested. And the last part is data insight. So they will again check, uh, can can you read a graph? Can you understand a table? All of that is basically tested. But the difficulty level is much lower than CAT. Okay. So you need not be an engineer to do well in GMAT. A non-engineer has just as good a chance of cracking GMAT as a engineer does. Okay. Okay. So that is basically the change. The sections stuffly tested are the same, but the difficulty level is much, uh, I wouldn't say lower, it is different. Some parts are harder, some parts are much easier. Okay, we are talking about the verbal reasoning section. Verbal reasoning yeah, section, even in uh, data insights, things can be tricky okay. because they require an understanding of uh, data distributions, of understanding of okay. uh, what is mean, median, mode, or what is standard deviation, all of these are different from what you're tested in CAT. Okay. Now let us come to GRE. Now GRE also has a quantitative section where you are again asked to solve arithmetic questions, algebra questions. You are also asked RCs, which are like generally simpler RCs. You have verbal reasoning, fill in the blanks. So the questions are, uh, you can say it, the topics roughly match, but the questions are much easier. The format of questions is essentially becoming simpler. Okay. Okay. Between GMAT and GRE. The skills tested are roughly same, but they require much lesser uh, intensity. They require okay. much lesser. Each question requires you less uh, time, less effort to solve. Now, what becomes more important is that as the exam becomes easier, accuracy becomes more important. Okay. Here, if you make a mistake, you will be penalized for it. But in GMAT. Yeah, in GMAT. But it won't be that heavy. If okay. you make a mistake in GRE, it would be very, very difficult, particularly if you're coming from the Indian subcontinent where everybody is expected to get either a perfect score or a near perfect score. Okay. So if you make any mistake in GRE, it is going to be much more harshly penalized than a GMAT mistake. So that's the main difference. The topics tested are roughly the same. The difficulty level is different. But because the difficulty level is different, the need for accuracy is higher for GRE than for GMAT. <laughs>